why are you here? Now, we're not talking some existential question. Why are you here watching this video? What brought you to this channel? A lot of people, the shop video did when I built that shop back there. Um, a lot of people came over from a Stumpy Nums recommendation. And also another thing has been French cleats have brought a lot of people to the channel as well. Um, I am actually known for selling tool holders. That's been my top item uh, to sell to date. And these are them right here. However, they've never been offered with the French cleat bracket on the back. I do offer cleats to sell, but that would require you cutting them down even further to make something like this. But, and I've done it for myself a few times, but there's got to be a better way. And today, oh man, I'm really excited to show you this really small innovation, but I think it's going to be, well, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So let's dive in. So let's begin. You know, a few months ago, I invested in this laser and man, it has really paid off in terms of not only being able to produce products for you guys and come up with some innovative solutions, but it really does open up someone's creativity when you get these types of machines. You've heard it said before, get a CNC, get a laser, it'll change your life. And it's very true. I really didn't believe it, but now that I've lived it, I can definitely tell you it really does happen. But on to what I'm here to show you. This is a tool holder. You saw me put it together with glue and brads pretty easily. And this French cleat little bracket here on the side nestles in with little CA glue and regular glue. You can use whatever you want. You can even tack this in with a brad nailer if you'd like. But I am gonna include the hardware when you do purchase a tool holder to then put this on the side just in case you want it. But I like the CA glue, standard glue method. So take your time, line everything up. These pre-drilled holes with these really small nails are actually designed for these tool backs. However, there are some other drilled holes that are a little bit bigger where you can use, well, half inch or three quarter inch smaller screws. Now you don't have to use the predetermined holes here. You can drill whatever you want, but this is a pretty cool idea of attaching these already made brackets that I'm gonna offer you to something that you probably have in your shop right now. Instead of this being locked in the drawer somewhere, you don't know where it is, put it up on the wall, use it, take whatever you need out, with the functionality of it being right at hand. Pretty cool idea if I do say so myself. And again, if you want this to line up with the top of your sustainer right here, no problem. Just drill the holes that you need for your situation. They're flexible, you know? So not reinventing the wheel here, I get it. Cleats have been done a million times. I've actually made somewhat of a business out of it. Um, but these are gonna come with every tool holder purchased, whether it's the Tool Holder XL, whether it's the standard one or the hammerhead. If it goes on a wall in terms of one of these back pieces like this, these are gonna come with it. And if you wanna get your hands on some of these, they're gonna be really inexpensive. I'm gonna have them down below in a pack of 10. So. That's gonna be on the website as well. And you can cleat whatever you want. As you saw here with this Makita bit holder kind of storage solution, it went on the wall, went on the wall flawlessly and I think it's a pretty cool idea. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with using these little things. Um, I'm gonna keep them relatively inexpensive so you can use them and, and play with them and see what's going on. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So um, moving on. I mean, these are good, I won't lie, but I never did put a back support, probably because the cleat thickness is what it needs to be to give ample support to this thing. But as you can see, this has a lot more support on the bottom. And that's why I've gone ahead and redone them. What do you think? Now it does change the aesthetic just a little bit, okay? And that was probably to be expected because you're putting some flat surfaces on already a curved surface is going to cause a little bit of a, you know, I don't know. I kind of like it actually. Um, let me show you from this vantage point. It's pretty cool. As always, I want to know what you think. And also I want to know what your ideas are to use these on something other than what you've seen in this video. Really excited to see what you guys come up with. And again, every time I pack one of these orders, these things are going to be close at hand. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Check it out. There you have it, guys. So from here on out, when you order anything with a tool back like this, you're going to get a little drug dealer bag full of hardware plus a French cleat option. Now, you don't have to use this. 
for this. You can use this somewhere else like I did on that small sustainer for those bits. And again, check the website down below. Everything we offer is down there. We've got some French fleet options and this is just one more thing that we're gonna try to offer you guys to make your making life a bit easier. Making for makers. Never thought that would be a thing, but hey, I figured I would take care of the things that you guys don't wanna do so you can get back to the real high quality projects that you guys are putting out that I see on Instagram and all kinds of spaces here. Thanks again for watching. My name's Chris, thanks for joining. If I've earned it, hey, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care.